and crick crackity boom d vlog here i squad bringing it rolling hard welcome to i squad studios hope everyone's doing well after the bunny holiday i hope we all got what we wanted or if you didn't get anything it's okay uh quick shout out bestel middle school cross jv softball bestel it's one-handed driving obviously totally illegal tell me buddy i squad studios on wheels Alrighty, uh, and I apologize about the sunglasses, but from the last time, the sun keeps showing up, and I can't get rid of it. I don't have that power yet, but I'm working on it. I'm working with all the power. Anyway, uh, I hope everyone had a good weekend. Back to it, right? So anyway, so I'm going to maybe touch on a sensitive topic. I've noticed, as of late, um, maybe it's the Generation X, which is myself. I'm very happy about being a Generation Xer. Even though we have a different title added to us now, besides the X, whatever, I don't really, really feel like too much thought process. Anyway, um, I've noticed, and I noticed this this weekend when I was shopping for Easter, running into parents, and my wife and I, or and blog, have noticed. Um, it's a lot easier to do shopping uh, alone than going out with the kids for, obviously you're buying them things, but when they come with you, you probably spend about $3,000 more than you want to. About $3,000 more, because they just can't stop touching everything and wanting everything. And yeah, you say no, but it just, it's sometimes it's, it's just, it's relentless, even food shopping. They want to try things, you can't starve them, so you gotta feed them, and all sense of a $298 food bill, and you're, that just happened. So anyway, um, what I've noticed when I was out was parents that had their kids with them, etc. The gloom and doom on their faces. I had ran into or spoken to a couple of them just randomly in the aisles, which sounds crazy, but it's what happened because we all were doing the same thing and listening to their kids. And some of them are similar to ages of mine. I have one going on 14 and one uh, eight. I forgot. Um, but you know, hearing their conversations with their kids, it sounded just like ours, and then you get in conversation with the parents, and we're all kind of in the same boat. Love our children beyond unconditionally. But it doesn't mean you have to like them. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a bad way. But just the stress and the overbearingness of all of it is insane. Um, but, you know, for, you know, I, my daughter, the, uh, is playing lacrosse this year and it's a school team so you know you do gotta buy equipment and stuff I get all that but then all of these additives that come with it it's what's the cost is like over a thousand dollars with equipment and everything for a school team I know she needed the equipment she never played before but you know she had one stick then she made a team and then the that stick wasn't good enough so she had to get a better stick and then she needs the cleats, of course, with the good cleats. And I get that because I feel like an athlete plays better when his equipment is better. I don't know, it's the way I always worked when I played sports. Um, but anyway, I'm noticing a trend amongst parents and amongst comedians how some of them are writing songs about it, how just kids are a-holes. And it's a good thing because at least we're all on the same page and we could support each other. Because like I said, I love my children beyond anything I've ever loved before. But sometimes, you know, you, you pull in the driveway and you gotta take a couple deep breaths. I find myself de downloading meditation apps before I get home to calm myself because I know what's gonna happen when you open the door. It's like the uh, poltergeist scene. Um, when they open the bedroom door and everything's whipping around, that's your house. Because everything's whipping around. It's just, you know, it's, in it's insanity. But we do what we do for them, right? I, and I do love them. But I was noticing a common trend amongst people, I guess, as crazy as it sounds, our age, just Generation X, and younger people now, it's crazy with younger kids. I don't know how you have kids so close together in age. Ours are five years apart for a reason, because we didn't sure we were going to do it again. We did, thankfully. But still, if they were like two years apart in that three to six or eight era of them being so close together, I would, I would, I would have definitely gone insane and would end up in a rubber room. All right, that was pretty much my two cents. Um, just random nothingness. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. 
a shout out to Google, David Dobrik, Jason Nash, uh, Big Nick, Toddy, um, Jonah, I hate when I forget Jonah, he's my favorite on Dobrik's vlog, um, Tyler Secure Team, George Nury, Coast to Coast AM. All right, I'll be back very soon. Uh, everyone enjoy, be good to each other. Peace.